Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to the Optimal Living 101 Masterclass Series. Today, I'm thrilled to be chatting about Optimal Nutrition 101. How to optimize your health, energy, and happiness starting at the end of your fork. As always, we're going to pull 10 of my favorite big ideas from a bunch of my favorite books on nutrition. So let's jump straight in with a quick overview, and then we'll dive in deep. Our first big idea, two facts plus cherry picking in 1650 plus your inner aborigine. When you get into the study of nutrition, it's easy to get confused. We're going to step all the way back. We're going to look at two facts that Michael Pollan shares with us to be our compass as we navigate Optimal Nutrition 101. The second big idea is industrialization. There are many things that have occurred over the last hundred years that have made our modern diet both mad and sad. The modern American diet, the standard American diet is a little nuts. We're going to focus on dealing with the consequences of industrialization. This is going to be a theme throughout this class, which leads us to our third big idea. The number one rules, eliminate kryptonite and eat real food. Our fourth big idea, metabolic switches and conquering cravings. We need to know that calories do not equal calories. A calorie is not a calorie. Different types of calories affect our bodies differently. They pull different metabolic switches. Super important point. We're going to talk about some compelling research on the consequences of different quality calories. The fifth big idea, take the garbage with a C, garbage out. Specifically, sugar and flour, the original fast foods that are not helping our uh, process of optimizing. The sixth big idea, fats, the good, the bad, and the evil. We will go through each of those. The seventh big idea, your second brain. You've got your first brain in your head, but did you know you have 100 million neurons in your gut and that your gut produces up to 90% of your serotonin? Fascinating stuff. We're going to talk about that research and how important it is for us to optimize our nutrition so we can optimize both of our brains. The eighth big idea is to reboot plus kitchen detox plus food rules. When you look at a lot of these different books, they talk about the importance of simplifying your diet, rebooting, getting rid of all the toxic stuff in your kitchen, and then establishing some clear parameters. The ninth big idea is the science of motivation. We're going to revisit our science. Five big ideas here. The why, giving yourself the gift, whoop, willpower, and learning, which leads to the 10th big idea, making this whole process an experiment of one and 1%, 1%, 1%. Making everything one big test. You are the experiment of one. All the scientific data in the world isn't going to tell you what works for you. We want to make our lives an experiment and get a little bit better day in and day out. That's a quick look at the top 10 big ideas. Let's jump in.